People, my people, thank you for hitting that subscribe button and sharing it with your friends. Now, tonight I am reviewing a vodka, but this vodka is a vodka like no other. It's like a brother from another mother. Um, I have reviewed and loathed with a vengeance Rahasia, which is a vodka made in India, and I bought it here. Rahasia had camphor in it. Camphor belongs in jaws because it's mothballs, it doesn't belong in a vodka. So tonight's vodka is a locally made vodka <clears throat> made by one Gunandeep Gangura, who is a resident Indian. Deep, I'm certain he's got Aussie citizenship, he's, and he's decided to do as you do. So often these days, um, he set up a distillery. And I bought his vodka on a recent trip to the bathtub Jinko, and here's the beautiful white um, bottle. And I must admit, I love how the Indians do flavoured colours. So, I've had a bit of a chat. I've tried a little bit of this. Um, the Sound of Happiness says... Now, the Smell of Happiness, and I couldn't figure it out initially, so I went and had a chat to Deep, because uh, Deep's my mate. And I was sitting there, hang on, there's a shit ton of anise in this. Um, the star anise, I'm, I'm in luck because I don't mind anise to a point. Um, if it's fennel, I'm sorry. And yep. Um, Guna Deep is out of um, the Punjab, North India. North Indians add fennel to their food. Yep. This baby's got fennel in it. So the risk, you know, the length of which I'm going to um, do only the best. <coughs> um, I've taken a small amount. It is intensely anise forward, it is, but the anise is having a really floral gin. It is an intensely floral vodka, sorry, not gin, floral vodka. Um, it is almost the exact polar opposite in terms of <clears throat> flavor and everything to Port Phillip distilleries. Okay, that Port Phillip distillery is the smoothest, most dangerous vodka I've ever tried because it doesn't taste like it's 42%. This is intensely aromatic, intensely floral. Um, and because Deep is Indian, I imagine it's going to go really well with um, a some sort of curry. Um, the doses, um, a tandoori, um, that sort of stuff. This would go really well with uh, a whole lot of Indian spices. So. The nose is intensely floral. The anise is just any more forward and it would be sitting in my lap, okay? Um, not a lot of subtle vodka. So this is two, two Indian vodkas, one from India itself. This is made by another. Um, I will go out and try, um, see if I can find it third vodka ma or, uh, made by an Indian. Um, I intend to interview Ganin uh, Deep and he said that he's got a gin. It'll be interesting to see what he does with the gin, if this is what he does with the vodka. Okay, the 2LDR version is, it's good, it's 42%, it set me back $85. Um, if you love your anise, then this is the baby for you. Unfortunately, it's not the baby for me because I have got a very thin threshold when it comes to um, fennel before it starts making me unwell. I don't know what to tell people that I'm allergic to fennel, and, but an allergy to me involves anaphylaxis and a whole lot of <laughs> <laughs> then you know ambulances <laughs> type stuff. What this will do if I exceed my threshold is more likely give me a migraine, and that will make me wish I had, had anaphylaxis. So. Thank you very much for watching and hitting that subscribe button. This is the second Indian vodka. So this one's made here by an Indian rather than made over there by an Indian. Um, and if you love your anise and you love your, you know, um, the same thing would be one beach um, um, organic bay make a, um, a, fennel, a gin that's got fennel in it. If you like that, and I go and check my special review of Blake, he did a review of it. Um, you'll certainly love this. It's very floral, it's very anaseedy. It will likely go an absolute, you know, 
blast with a um, really pungent, uh, spicy Indian dish, uh, it doesn't go particularly well with me because I've got that horrible tolerance. Having said that, um, I do intend to use this as a way of getting, of getting around the um, fennel intolerance. <clears throat> I figure if I have the sips on this and my body just gets used to it, I'm going to be doing it. So it's a medicine. That's what I'm going to keep on telling the other half. So thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next week with... Oh, I'll see you with next week. Neotide. The, the Reg Gin. And there's going to be a special coming out. I'm not making, I'm going to finish making that bathtub gin next week, aren't I? I'll catch you around, people. Thanks for watching. Go out and be naughty.